This is the most commonly mentioned amenity in our reviews and has been for years. And it doesn't break the bank. It is our famous forgot something basket. Hi, I'm Sarah Karakayan. And I'm Annette Grant. And together we are Thanks for visiting. We've been hosting for well over a decade, welcomed tens of thousands of guests, and earned thousands of five-star reviews. Our portfolio continues to bring in over one and a half million year over year, and supported not only by the industry's leading brands, but also some of the biggest media outlets. And we're here to help you with your furnished rental. What is a forgot something basket? So when we first started hosting, at the time I was working at a hotel and I just try to parallel all the things my hotel was doing in my own short-term rental. And I was like, I always see like the, you know, the guests going because I worked in the bar next door to the front desk. And I always saw guests going down and asking for, you know, a, 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 like maybe it's a toothbrush or- Toothpaste or, or a Or razor. a razor set, right? And I'm like, well, I don't want to be bugged every time if they forget something. So I put together this little basket and there was a little chalkboard on the basket. That's how I bought it. And I just wrote, forgot something, question mark. I put it in the bathroom. And I mean, it was like that for the first few stays. Guests would either reach out to me directly. And this is back in like 2012. But they were like, this was so helpful. Like, because I lived in New York City and they were like, I didn't have hairspray and I was going out to a dinner or I forgot my toothbrush and like I didn't want to have to hop on the train to go to the nearest bodega, right? right? So like it blew their minds and then it blew my mind that it blew their minds because I thought it was a simple thing. And then actually I met Annette and she saw it and she was like, that is so cool. She was like, Brilliant. people need to know about your forgot something basket. And so we're telling you about it. And it is in every single one of our properties now we have Anybody that we talk to, anybody that hosts, you do not want to be caught hosting without this because it really is this small, small thing that shows so much hospitality to your guests. We don't have front desk, like Sarah said, and we have to emulate as much as we can. We like to emulate what a, host, a hotel stay is. That's what guests are used to. And this is one of those simple, simple things that each and every guest can share in too. So it doesn't matter if you have a property that sleeps two people or 20 people, this is something that every guest could use if needed. And what's wonderful is it's easy to replenish and really inexpensive. I wanna share with you a tip that I got from one of my mentors at that hotel that I worked at. His name's Francois, he's a star, and he always taught us to anticipate the guest's needs. And I didn't really understand what that meant until he put it in practice. So. I worked at the, I worked at food and beverage. I worked behind the bar and he was like, when a guest beer is like, you know, maybe two thirds full, already be thinking about that guest glass should not get empty before you offer them another one. Yes, it's an upsell, but also they don't want to have to, you, we've all been there where we're at a bar or we're at a table and our water is gone. Let, let's just take it to water cause that's free. And then you're waiting for your server to go by. It is like, now I'm not talking to my, my friend anymore. I'm trying to flag down my server. So like it is ingrained in me to be thinking about my guest at all times. So I'm no longer behind a bar or at a restaurant, but I'm thinking about them when they check in, especially, you know, back in New York, like the nearest bodega that had like any of this stuff was like a serious, like seven, eight minute walk because we lived deep into Queens. And so I was like, well, I don't want to have them do that when they get in. We've all forgotten something on a trip. So what are the essential things that they can just at least feel refreshed after their trip in and finding our place? So it's that's like, anticipating their needs, anticipating yeah. they might forget their toothbrush, their toothpaste. They might forget their razor. They might find our property loud and need earplugs. There's just, it is thinking a little bit ahead or what are, what are things that they might've forgotten or things that they didn't even know that they were gonna need during their stay. Here are the 10 items you should consider including in your forgot something basket. Number one, earplugs. You can get a giant bag of earplugs on Amazon under 20 bucks. They're gonna last you forever, but your guests, are going to thank you for them because guess what? You are hosting that overnight stay. That's what they're paying for. Some people are in a new environment. Things might be loud to them and this will help them immediately. You'll have a solution for them if they can't sleep. We all know not being able to sleep is pretty much like the worst thing. So you want to make sure that you are prepared if for some reason someone like finds maybe uh, things around your home or near your home loud or hey, they're staying at a house with people they don't normally stay with and someone's snoring in the other room. There's a baby crying. So it might have nothing to do with your property. It might have who they brought to the property with them. So you wanna help them out with your plugs. Number two, deodorant. I specifically get the spray kind because it is more hygienic where they don't, obviously don't have, you don't want to like be putting deodorant on from a stranger. You know what, shared rollers? No, so I actually got this idea from a gym that I belong to where like, oh, there's like, 
okay, because you just take off the cap and you don't have to touch anything. And I'm telling you, people love it. Number three, hygiene products. Just like you would provide toilet paper to your guests, providing hygiene products like tampons or pads is essential for humans to, to use the restroom. It's part of being human. So offering these up is just the right thing to do. Number four, toothbrush and toothpaste. Again, really inexpensive. We get the individuals on this for cleanliness and you can get them from Amazon. We'll make sure to put all these links below. Don't worry. This is really something, especially if your guest checks in late at night and maybe they have an appointment early in the morning, this is going to save them. I, I know that this is probably one of the most commonly left behind items. So they are going to really thank you when they see these right in your bathroom. Number five, sunscreen. For obvious reasons, this is great to have, but this also prompts some thoughts for you. Like I may not offer the sunscreen as we get into our winter months here in Ohio. In, in, in that case, I will pivot to hand warmers, right? You can put a little hand warmers in here. So think about your property with all of these products. Like what makes sense for you? Maybe you're more of a glamping experience. So you might want to offer bug spray, right? So think about how you can anticipate the needs of your specific guest, your specific avatar. But during the summertime, the sunscreen is essential. A lot of our guests come and watch, you know, football games at our stadium or baseball games with the traveling baseball kids. So sunscreens are great being dad. Number six, disposable razor and shaving cream. This little kit, look at it, so cute. Also purchased on Amazon. This is great. Again, this is something that when you call down to the front desk at the hotel, ah, I forgot my razor. And maybe it's for someone who needs to shave their beard and they're going to a job interview or a wedding. It's someone that wants to shave their legs or, you know, or any area for that fact. <laughs> but this is something we, we love to leave and again, super inexpensive. Number seven, lint roller. How nice is it that they can wearing something black and they can just roll that lint. Maybe they're bringing their, their pet with them. It's a great addition. Number eight, Q-tips and cotton balls. Cotton rounds, cotton swabs, cotton balls, Q-tips. These are super simple. Again, easy and these cute little containers, keep them clean and people take what they need. Number nine, makeup wipe. Self-explanatory, a makeup wipe is great. I mean, how many times, this is my favorite thing to use at a hotel is a, is a makeup wipe. Even if I bring my own, I'd rather use what I can get at the hotel, the short-term rental, so I can like not use my own. But having them individually wrapped and you can buy these on Amazon is, is a more sanitary way to do it and it's great. Number 10, Band-Aids. You should of course have a full-size first aid kit but we like to supply these just loose band-aids in our forgot something basket so they're easy grab and go and they're not fussing through the entire first aid kit. So those 10 things are just to get you started. I mean, you can go as big as you want with this or even, you know, if you want to go a little bit smaller, but just to give you some other ideas of things that we do supply. We do um, lotion, we can do hairspray, we do shout wipes. You could do static guard if you want, shower caps, Sarah mentioned before, maybe there's seasonality. So there's different things during different times of the year that you might want to supply inside your forgot something basket. Maybe it's saline solution for people that have contacts. So this is one of those things that, you know, you can get started with it and add on as you go. And then if, again, this is, can be area specific, like ge geographically specific and seasonality specific. But again, make sure this doesn't break the bank for you. Add those items and you can't go wrong with a forgot something basket. We know what they're thinking, right? Everyone's gonna steal all of it and it's gonna be gone after the guest checks out and it's gonna be so expensive. Well, I'm just gonna, cause we actually we were just bantering and we turned the camera off, now we're turning it back on again. <laughs> but I wanna give you the, the real juice here, how I really feel about this. You need to change your mindset, okay? If you're worried about a guest taking the, the whole can of hairspray and the whole lotion, they probably needed it more than you do. And two, I'm just here to tell you, like, you need to put your brain power on something else in your business, okay? Like these, all of these items separately, even combined, are incredibly inexpensive. I can tell you after over a decade of hosting, no one has ever rated the whole forgot something. Rated basket. the whole thing, okay? But I can tell you that having thought ahead of time, anticipating their needs when so many other hosts in my marketplace don't do this, I blow their minds. They literally write about these inexpensive items in their reviews to us, in their public messages to us, into their private messages to us. Like it's incredible the return on investment we have gotten off of this simple basket. So do they steal these things? No. If they did, 
They probably needed it more than you. And if you're thinking about that thing, I already want you to take all that brain power and put it on something that's gonna drive more revenue into your business, get that next property. Think about something else instead of if they steal all the toilet paper or paper towels, like that is not a worry that you have to even put any thought into. And we wanna hear from you. What do you think we should add to our forgot something basket? What do you have in your forgot something basket that guests love? Leave it below in the comments. Now that we've got we, your brain moving on how we can improve our experience for our guests and think ahead, we've got a video all about the best bedding for your short-term rental and then our Amazon must-haves that or go above and beyond all of this. And with that, I'm Sarah Karakayan. I'm Annette Grant and together we are Thanks, thanks for, for Visiting. visiting.